Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the Keurig K-Duo Plus coffee maker. This will make either full pots of coffee or single serve cups using K-Cups. So I really like that you can use grounds or K-Cups in this depending on how much you're making or how much of a hurry you're in. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through how to use this thing and what I like about it. To put a K-Cup in it, it's really simple. It's in the back here instead of in the front like they normally are, but it just pops up. You've got your spike for the top of the coffee pod and there's one down here in the bottom. This portion is removable for cleaning. And then you just pop your coffee pod in there and it pierces it and you're ready to brew. If you wanted to do a whole pot of coffee, you just pull this tab out in the front and the whole thing extends. You've got a mesh filter basket. Uh, I usually put paper filters in here just to make sure I don't get any grit in my coffee pot, um, but this does a really good job filtering. Then you can also pull this portion out right here and it's got the traditional ball valve that will stop filling when you pull the coffee pot out. It's a really nice feature. And it also comes with a handy scoop uh, to help you measure the coffee if you want it. To brew with this is really easy. You just hit the power button and it'll start blinking at you which you want, the carafe or the K-cup. Uh, so you select one of those and whichever one you select, now it asks you to select an amount. So for the K-cup, it's six, eight, 10, or 12 ounces. For the carafe, it's six, eight, 10, or 12 cups. It's got a great versatility and range of things you can make with that. So if we want a 12 ounce cup of coffee, we click that and hit start. If you put your grounds in the night before, you can use the auto function to have it brew at a specific time. So you've got hot coffee when you wake up. You can hit power, then auto, and it'll pop up and ask you what time you wanna set it to brew at, and you can hit okay. Uh, and then you pick six, eight, 10, or 12. It only works uh, with the carafe setting. So if you wanted eight cups in the morning, you hit that, hit okay again. And now it's scheduled. You see there's a clock right here telling you it's gonna auto brew at that time. If you want to turn it off, you just hit the auto button again. The stainless steel uh, vacuum insulated carafe is really nice. This thing has kept coffee warm for six plus hours for me when I did a full 12 cup pot. This twists off. Uh, you can see it's got a good 12 cup capacity. You brew it with the lid on like this and it goes right through the hole. Uh, you remove the lid only for cleaning. You can pour with the lid in place. It locks in, you don't have to do anything. You just pour like that uh, and it's really easy to use. The drip tray over here is removable. You can just pull the whole thing off. Uh, this part stays here, but if you have a really tall travel mug, uh, you can fit it underneath here. Uh, I can use my travel mugs uh, with this installed. So you've got a generous height right here, uh, just about the highest on any coffee maker I've used for fitting tall mugs under. Now the really cool thing about this one and the biggest upgrade over the Keurig K-Duo is this water reservoir can be configured on the left or right side or on the back. So you can have a really slim profile that's uh, a little bit deeper, or if you've got space to the side but not space in the back, you can put it on either side. So if you wanna tuck this into a corner, you can bring the water reservoir and put it on the side that's accessible, and it's really a nice option they have built into this. The water reservoir itself holds 12 cups. It is nice and slim. I can fit it in my drink dispenser. It's too tall for the fridge, uh, but you can angle it in there and get it mostly full. If you don't want to use filtered water from your fridge, you can also use the carbon filters they have for this and get it right out of your sink faucet. So once you start this thing brewing, it is super fast. Uh, it'll take a little, little bit to heat up, but after that, it'll brew right away and it'll brew multiple cups in a row after that too, once it has the water up the temperature. One really nice thing is when you're done brewing, this thing stops dripping almost immediately. I've had coffee makers that sit there and drip for like a few minutes afterwards, so you don't get a bunch of splashes everywhere on the splash guard that you have to clean up. It's a lot nicer and cleaner. So overall, I am really happy with this coffee maker. Uh, I really love the functionality of being able to throw a K-cup in there when I'm in a hurry in the morning uh, and use that or if I've got a little bit more time at home on the weekends, or if I've got company over, I can brew a full pot with the same machine. So I love the versatility of this thing. Great coffee maker, definitely recommended.